Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Hafizi I currently am pursuing my BNC with the Honor Natural Resource Science My high interest is to study on a reptilia Welcome to my site My research title is a Diversity and Distribution of a Crocodile Species in Taman Negara Pahang Ok next we go through for the introduction In the introduction, I will explain about the crocodile is the largest special The largest reptile in the world with the unconfirmed report from uh, according the Relin 2006 In introduction to, I talk about the, They are all well known crocodile and alligator like reptiles They are typical, enormous, semi aquatic Clothes in a lechery, skull, scaly skin, and have raised ridge of the shell, and a large mouth and a sharp fangs. And then I will explain about the crocodile has become economically significant to many people due to harvesting of its species for leather and flesh. That's all from my introduction. And next I will go to the objective. For my objective, I got two objectives for my research title. And the first, my objective is to assess and understand the various species present in a specific geographic region. And the number two is uh, to identify and document the different crocodile species found in a given ecosystem. Okay, next, we go through the problem statement for my research title. And this, I want to explain about the difficult to understand and document the variety and the distribution of crocodile species in Pahang National Park. And next, I will explain about uh, the exact crocodile species that are found in Pahang National Park. And I will explain about the paucity of information on the diversity of crocodile in Taman Negara Pahang and their distribution of a various issue. In order to make educate choice about the management of habit, tourist activity and possible conflict with human population, park authorities and wildlife managers require precise information on the diversity. And, and last, I will explain about the lack of research. And for the significance of the study, I will explain about the conservation of energy and resource, ecological relevance, evaluation of the biological diversity, state of the species, and awareness of the public and educational opportunities. And for the literature review, I just do summary from all my part of BSc. And a literature review, I will explain what is a crocodile? Crocodile are also renowned for their district reproduction behavior. And then I will explain about the phylogeny and historical event. And then I will explain about the morphology of the cro crocodile refer to its physical characteristic or shape. And next, for the life cycle of the crocodile, Typical consists of multiple phases, from hatching, from an embryo to maturing into adult, and they continue to grow and improve their ragging abilities despite potential threats such as predation and resource competition. And then, for the crocodile, are op opportunistic, that they and have a varied diet that change based on their species, size habit and the availability of prey in their environment and then i will explain the crocodile get their nutrient from the variety of source including the following for the methodology is methodology to study of crocodile first i will explain about the study of area field server satellite tracking citizen science and local knowledge genetic analysis and data analysis for the material is uh, species diversity, size, morphology, geographic distribution, and habits preference, and the last is material adaptation. That's all from my 
methodology to study crocodile. And then for the expected outcome for my research title is uh, to identification of individual crocodile species found in the Pahang National Park. The preference of the complete list of crocodile species found in the region. And uh, this information contribute to the all better understanding of the geographic distribution pattern X habits by crocodile population. And then this information as to deer assessment and monitoring activity carried out for the, the population. And I will explain about the science contribution, the finding of the study contribute to the body of scientific information regarding the diversity and distribution of crocodile. Okay, we go through the about uh, Janchat. Janchat is uh, about the project activity. First is the project title selection. We discuss uh, to the lecturer and gathering the information. And for the writing proposal, we must do the objective, problem statement, significant study, uh, literature review, and the methodology. And for the finalization is the discuss with the lecturer, analyzing the data, the data information, and for the sub submitting proposal. And after that, we go through the presentation or making a video, and last is the final draft submission. For the jan chart, I will do from March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, and November. Okay, next I go to for the research budget. My research budget, I only use a combination for 200 ringgit. For transportation, I only use 400 ringgit. And for the printing, all about the information of 50 or until 60. And for the equipment, for crocodile sampling, I use for 100 ringgit. For hardbound, I use for 70 ringgit. And total is uh, 830 ringgit. And for the research milestone for my research title is uh, for the May, I will complete of a final draft proposal and for the June complete of the proposal presentation and for the July, I will go to pro complete of the, the secondary data for August completion of the data analysis and for the last is the complete of the final report for the November. For the reference, uh, that's all from my reference. I just found a 22 reference to help me to find uh, to study about the crocodile.